So a massive problem that football slash soccer coaches are having at the moment with their training business and when they want to implement club team training as a service is number one, they don't know what to charge for this service. They don't know how to structure payments. They don't know how many sessions to run per season. They don't know how to form partnerships with local clubs. So in today's video, I'm gonna be answering all those questions. So stay tuned for more. So if you're a coach out there and you're in football or soccer and you wanna build a business around club team training, Okay, this video is going to really help you, right? This is something that a lot of coaches that we work with uh, are currently doing. So a lot of them are going into the into local clubs, offering their services to local teams. And essentially, the club is paying them for their service. So it's a very good way of growing your business locally. It's a very smart way of getting in front of more players, getting in front of more coaches, expanding your reach, and getting more known for your services. So today I wanna to share with you a, a few ways that you can create these partnerships, you can set up your services, and essentially bill your, your, your clients, which are going to be your local clubs. So the first step, what, uh, most coaches do is number one is they build a network of clubs within their area so whichever city you're currently in what you have to do is go onto Google and research the local soccer clubs that are in your area okay so that would be number one do do a network search of the local local clubs in your area and then what I would encourage you to do is go out and watch the training sessions. Okay, go out, watch the training sessions, see what their see what the quality of coaching is like, see what the the training is like, see what things that you can add of value to make their program better. That's number one. Now the second one is once you've put together a list of clubs. So what I would do is create an Excel spreadsheet name a club and name a contact that you're going to reach out to. Okay, so you wanted to make sure that you get in front of the right person, a person that is the decision maker, a person that can allow you in to work with their teams and a person that essentially will support what you're doing within the club. So the second one is get in front of the, the correct decision maker. So do your research, go on the website, see who is the director, who you need to speak to, and then try and find ways to get in contact with them. This might be going to sessions and asking uh, coaches, do you know this, this person or how can I get in contact with this person? Uh, you might be able to find them on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a fantastic way now to connect with professionals within your area. So try and connect with people that way. So if you're looking to work with the director of coaching or you're looking to work with the president of the club, perhaps a LinkedIn might be a fantastic way of uh, getting in contact and building, building that relationship so that you can then sell them on to what you're doing. Now, the third one is creating a service, right? So once you have all the clubs in your area, you've got the contacts, now you need to know what you're going to offer them. So what service are you going to, to offer that club so that they would want to work with you, okay? A lot of coaches, what they do is they go into clubs and they sit, they, they get a meeting, which is very difficult. They get a meeting and then they don't know what they're actually offering that club, okay? Be prepared, have your entire service down to a T, Right, so this is what I'm looking to do for your players. This is what I'm looking to do for your coaches. This is how in the next three, six, 12 months, your, your club's going to grow through our training. Okay, and this is the value that we're going to provide so that your players, your teams can become better. They can become more competitive. They can essentially win championships and the brand in and around the city grows because if, 
that club becomes successful, they can attract the better players in your local area to come and play for them. Okay, but you need to have that all down to a T. You need to be able to sit down in front of the person and be able to plan out, right, this is the step-by-step -step process that you're going to be taking with me if we were to work together. Okay, now the fourth one is figuring out, this kind of comes down to the next one, uh, the previous one, but then the fourth one is what's the commitment for your service? Right. Is it going to be a three month commitment? Is it going to be a six month? Is it going to be a season long? Uh, most of the coaches that we work with that are running these types of services, they do it for a season long, some even for two seasons. Okay. Something you've got to remember is that if you're going to go into a club and offer any type of service, you've got to remember that the process takes time to get results. So in three months, can you realistically get results with the teams that you're working with? Maybe, maybe not. So you might need some more time. And that's something when you sit down with the director, you've got to make really clear that in order for our company to get the results that your club wants, we need at least a season to be able to implement our ideas and our methodology and our way of working so that your players and coaches can become better as a result. Okay, so what is the commitment? Okay, and then the fifth one is essentially how are you going to charge for those services, right? So once you know what that service looks like, if you're going to be doing group training, if you're going to be doing team training, if you're going to be doing one-on-one -on -one training, um, if you're going to be doing working with their goalkeepers, Right, what exact service are you looking to offer okay, to the teams in within that club and how are you now going to be uh, billing them and charging them? Are you going to be charging that club on a monthly basis for all the hours you you've done or are you going to be charging them on a quarterly basis? So it might be three months up front and within those three months, there's a certain amount of hours that you have to complete within the club. And these are just a couple of ideas that we have worked with coaches uh, on and that coaches that we are currently working with are using within their business. Okay, so if you need more help, get in contact with me, description below this video, how you can connect and get our help.